Hey there, it's Jen. I'm gonna give you a nice strong flow today. So we're gonna dive right into it. So go ahead and find a comfortable seat. You don't need any props today, but you're always welcome to have them along for the ride. So just start to settle in, maybe take a couple shrugs of your shoulders, kind of roll them up back and down. Maybe drop your chin to your chest, take one ear to a shoulder or the other side, just kind of move things around a little bit, maybe shake out your hands, flutter out your lips, do whatever you need to do to kind of stop whatever was happening before you hit play. Go ahead and close your eyes. And we're just gonna begin with three nice deep breaths together. So take a nice deep, full inhalation in through your nose, filling up your lungs as full as you can possibly get with breath. Take a little pause at the top of your inhalation and then exhale all of that breath out through your mouth completely till you're empty, 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 nothing's left. So let's do that twice more. Inhale fully and completely. Imagine your lungs expanding as your chest lifts and your crown rises up to the sky. And then exhale after your pause, everything out, complete emptiness, complete release. And then last time, inhaling fully, fully, deeply, as much as you can, and then maybe even a little bit more, filling up, filling up, a little pause, and then exhaling out all of the breath. So if you had your eyes closed, go ahead and blink them open. Bring your right hand down to the mat as you sweep your left arm up and over, full circle through your shoulder. And then as you bring your left hand down, bring your right arm up, big open stretch through the side waist. And then go ahead and bring your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, and really pull away with the heels of your hands. So you're getting a nice stretch into your wrist as we're about to be on the wrist quite a bit in our vinyasa flow practice today. So go ahead and just get a nice opening there. And then releasing the hands, do a few circles maybe a few figure eights with your hands, just giving your wrists a little bit of awakening before we dive in. And then go ahead and find yourself on your mat, come to the back of your mat and sit back into a child's pose. Take a nice deep breath in and a nice deep breath out. And as you inhale, Make your way up to all fours. Stretch your right arm forward so your thumb is up to the sky, your palm is in. And then take a big circular motion with your right arm. Reach back to the wall behind you and then bring your right hand down. Sit back into your child's pose. So we'll do that on the other side. Inhale, come up through all fours. Reach your left arm forward, thumb up. Pivot the hand open as the palm goes out reach back to the wall behind you, and then bring your left hand down, sit back once again into your child's pose. Good, now from here, go ahead and come up to all fours, lift yourself up and back to downward facing dog. And just take a couple minutes to pedal out through your heels. And we're gonna take that same kind of movement with the arm, but this time we're gonna go from our downward facing dog and as you inhale, you're gonna come forward to plank. Lower your left knee down. You'll plant your right foot as you stretch the right arm forward. Turn the palm out, reach to the back. So you're in a modified side plank. The right hand comes back down, pick up your knee, go back to downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward, lower your right knee down, plant the left foot as the left arm stretches forward up to the sky, back to the wall behind you, replace the hand down, shift up and back, downward facing dog. So just take a couple minutes to pedal out through your heels here, maybe shifting your hips from side to side, do what feels good in this first down dog of your practice. And then we'll go through a nice little flow, the typical flow that we do in vinyasa classes. So inhale, ripple your way forward, kind of roll out through your spine, come forward to plank, and then exhale, draw your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, begin with the breath, then the movement, you come forward to plank, and exhale, the hips up and back, 
downward facing dog. So just getting a little bit of movement, coming forward to your plank, and then nice and slowly, knees up or down, lower chaturanga, the whole way down to the mat. Untuck your toes, take your hands wide off the mat as if you had oranges under your palms as you tent your fingers. Draw your shoulders up, back and down, rising up to a cobra pose. Then you're gonna dip your right shoulder down towards the midline of the mat, look over your left shoulder. And then draw your right shoulder up, back and down. Dip your left shoulder to the midline of your mat as you look over your right shoulder. And then draw the left shoulder up, back and down. Rise up one more deep breath in your cobra pose. And then exhale, release down to the mat. Slide your hands underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes. Activate your core and your quads. And then see if you can push directly up, straight up to a plank pose. And then draw the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Take a nice deep, full breath in. And then open up your mouth and let a nice deep breath go out. Take your gaze to the top of the mat. Take as many steps as you need to get to a forward fold. Folding in, letting the head relax down towards the ground. Inhale, come to a halfway lift. And then exhale, fold forward once again. Inhale, come the whole way up to standing, sweeping your arms up to the sky. And then as you exhale, you're going to cactus your arms, squeeze your shoulder blades onto your back. So you're getting a nice heart opener here. And then inhale, straighten yourself back up. So let's do that twice more. Exhale, squeezing the shoulder blades, leaning back. Inhale as you root to the feet, rise back up. Last time here, exhale, leaning back. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, folding your way forward down to the earth and step your way back to downward facing dog. As you inhale, make your way forward to plank. And from here, you're gonna pick up your right toes just to hover an inch or two off of the mat. As you exhale, squeeze your right knee up towards your right tricep or even your armpit, and then send it back to this one-legged plank. Exhale, take it over and across, maybe finding your left tricep, your left armpit. Inhale, take it back. So two more rounds like that. Exhale, knee comes to the right tricep. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, take it over to the left. Inhale, take it back. One more time, so we're staying in plank. It's challenging right from the back. Strong flow here. Next time, take it over to the left. Now, sweep the right leg the whole way up, three-legged dog. Bend your knee, open up your hip. Enjoy a little wiggle through the toes. Maybe a little circle around through the hip or through the ankle. And then straighten out your right leg. Take the gaze forward and step your right foot the whole way through. So from here, we're gonna rise up to a lunge. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Press your head back into your hands, your hands resist. Take a deep inhalation and as you exhale, it's just a subtle twist, turn your torso to the right. Inhale, come back through center, keep hugging the hips in. Exhale, squeeze as you twist to the right. One more time, inhale, hug your inner thighs to keep your hips stable. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, releasing, sending your arms up to the sky. Exhale, bringing your hands down to the mat. As you inhale, step back, catch that one-legged plank. Once again, toes hover. Exhale as you lower chaturanga, the toes touch the ground. Upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. <sighs> inhale, come forward to your plank pose. 
pick up the left toes. We take all of this on the second side. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Inhale, lengthen back through the left leg. Exhale, squeeze out the breath as you cross under to the right tricep. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, see if you're holding your breath here. Use your breath. Inhale, send it back. Try not to clench your jaw. Take it under and across. One more time. Exhale, pull it to the left tricep. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, take it over and across. Send the leg up to the sky. Bend the knee. Open the hip. Maybe circle around through the hip. Wiggle the toes. Move through the ankle. Then square your hips. Send your left leg high. High onto the ball of your right foot is going to put some more space underneath you to bring the left foot the whole way through. So I'm going to turn around so you can see. And as you come up to your lunge, interlace your fingers. Maybe move one finger slot down so it feels a little bit different. Just get your brain thinking in a different way. Hug the inner thighs. Exhale, just a slight twist to the left. Inhale back through center. Exhale, twist to the left, really root back into the, to the ball of your right foot. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, back through center. Arms sweep up, hands down to the ground. Your one-legged plank, toes just hover, so your leg's not way up here, right? It's just hovering. And then as you lower Chaturanga, the toes are naturally gonna find the ground. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. So take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Let that breath go out through the mouth. So from your down dog, we're going to make it to the top of the mat. Rise up onto the balls of the feet. Look forward. Bend your knees. Crouch back like a tiger. And then think about bringing the weight forward into your hands, into your fingertips as you hop to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, sweeping the arms. Exhale, cactus the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades. Inhale, sweep the arms back up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, release the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward to your plank pose. Now pick up the right toes, let them hover. As you exhale, pull your right knee towards your armpit, towards your tricep. Take an inhalation here. As you exhale, let the knee shift down, tap the mat. Pull it back up. Take it back, one-legged plank. Exhale, take it over to the left tricep. Inhale to lower it down, tap. Exhale, pull it back up. Send it back. Leg sweeps up to the sky, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, open the hip. And then straighten out the right leg. Get high onto the ball of the left foot. Step your right foot the whole way through. So we come back up to that interlacing hands behind the head in your lunge. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, you're gonna twist to the right. Take your left arm out in front of you as you inhale. And as you exhale, your left hand is gonna come down to the mat. Your right hand stays behind your head. Take a deep inhalation here. And as you exhale, think about bringing your right elbow to your left. As you straighten your right leg as much as feels okay, bend into your left knee. You can even pick up the right toes if that feels good. Inhale, re-bend your right knee, plant the foot, open up. Exhale, thread that elbow to the left elbow. Bend that back knee, straighten right leg. 
open back up. So last time, take it under, straighten, and then open it up. Sweep your right arm up to the sky, take the gaze up, lower your right hand down. Take your right toes back, hovering in your one-legged plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, listen here, go back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Press yourself directly up to plank. And then back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, always use these clearing breaths to kind of catch your breath. Exhale it out. Inhale, we roll the body forward to plank. So we pick up the left toes, just an inch or two off of the mat. Exhale, pull the knee to the left tricep. Inhale, knee comes to tap by the wrist. Exhale, squeeze it back up. Inhale, one-legged plank. Exhale, take it across right tricep. Inhale, tap. Exhale, pick it back up, send it up, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, open the hip, and then as you square off the hip, straighten the leg, make some room by lifting your right heel high. Step your left foot the whole way through. So again, I'm gonna turn around, inhaling, come up to your lunge, maybe take it a finger slot down so it feels a little bit different. Exhale, take that little twist to the left. Inhale, reach your right arm forward. Exhale, the right hand comes down to the earth. Draw your left elbow back. Exhale, think about left elbow to right. Straightening your left leg, maybe pick up your toes, bend into your right knee. Inhale, open it back up as the legs come back into your lunge shape. Exhale as you fold under, it's a little bit of a half split shape. Inhale, open it back up. Exhale, threading it under. Inhale as you open it up, this time release your left hand the whole way up to the sky. Lower left hand down, one-legged plank, energy in the left leg, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Remember, listen here, we go back, chaturanga, belly up and in. Inhale, strong press to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep, full breath in and a deep, full breath out. <sighs> Rise up onto the balls of the feet, play with this. So you crouch back, bend the knees, look forward so you see where you wanna go. Bring the weight into the arms, lift the hips, hop, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. We come the whole way up to standing, stretching the fingertips to the sky. Exhale, cactus goddess arms, squeeze the shoulder blades. Inhale, arms sweep back up. Exhale, down to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift, nice long spine. Exhale, fold, hands find the mat. Inhale, step back, downward facing dog. Exhale it out. Inhale, forward to plank. Right toes pick up. Exhale, pull the knee to the right tricep. Inhale, lower it down. Exhale, draw it back up. Inhale, right leg goes up, bend the knee, open the hip. Pivot onto the pinky toe side of your left foot, flip your dog. Right toes, ball of the foot comes to the mat as you stretch your right arm up and over, bicep by the ear. Press into your legs to lift the hips, to get the weight out of your left wrist, and then you pivot your way back around to downward facing dog. Inhale, 
Come forward to plank. Pick up the right toes. Exhale, you're gonna pull that knee across, finding the left tricep. Inhale, it dips down. Exhale, pull it back up. Now, send that right leg directly out so you're on the blade of the foot. Plant your left foot down, pivot open to your fallen triangle. Use your legs to lift your hips. Pull the weight out of your right wrist. One more breath here. Close it off. Left hand down. Pivot on the ball of the left foot. Take your right leg the whole way up to the sky. And then step your right foot the whole way through. So here we are, rising up, lunge, interlace fingers. Exhale, pivot to the right. Inhale, reach the left arm forward. Exhale, left hand comes down. Inhale, right arm reaches up. Exhale, step back, Vashistasana, side plank. So maybe you have the feet stacked. Maybe you play with lifting the top leg. One more breath. Lower the leg if it's up. We shift directly to our plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath. Notice the difference in the two sides of your body as we go in for the balance on the left side. So inhaling, forward to plank. So we do the same thing, but expect different results, right? Left toes lift. Exhale, pull the left knee to the left tricep. Inhale, towards the wrist. Exhale, pull the knee back up. Inhale, send the leg up, bend the knee, open the hip. So we're doing a nice slow flip of the dog. Shift onto the blade of the right foot, Plant the ball of the left foot. Draw yourself up and over. And just try not to be in a hurry. Pause here. Bring your left bicep by your ear. Plug into your feet. Exhale as the left hand goes back down. You step back. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, come forward. Picking up the left toes. Exhale, take it under and across, right tricep. Tap it down. Draw it back up, shoot it across. Plant the right foot, right arm. Stretches up to the sky. Notice if you're sagging down, use your legs to lift the hips up and really reach through your right hand as if you could pull yourself up and out of your left wrist. And then lower the hand down. Left leg goes up to the sky. And exhale, step your left foot through. So we come up to our lunge, interlace fingers, deep breath in. Exhale, twisting to the left. Inhale, right arm reaches forward. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, blade of the right foot plants. You step it back to Vashistasana, to your side plank. Maybe if you did this on the first side, you play with lifting the top leg, pausing, finding a little bit of balance. Lower the leg down, shift it over, plank pose. Chaturanga Dandasana. Up dog, I think I forgot it on last round, but not this one. We go back to chaturanga. Press it up to plank. Lift the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. So deep, deep breath in. And deep, deep breath out. Rise up onto the balls of the feet. Launch yourself forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend into the knee. Come the whole way up. 
Exhale, cactus arms, heart lifts. Inhale, reach back up. Last round, one breath per movement. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward to plank, pick up the right toe. Exhale, pull the knee to the right tricep. Inhale, leg up and over, flip the dog. Exhale, inhale, arm rises. Exhale, flip it right back to one-legged plank. And then pull that left knee over to the left tricep. Kick it across, fall in triangle, left foot roots, left arm stretches up. Exhale, replant the hand. Inhale, right leg up to the sky. Exhale, step through. Inhale, rising up. Lunge, interlace fingers. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, left arm stretches forward as the hand plants. Right arm reaches up. Inhale. Exhale, take it back. Vashistasana. Lower the leg, lower the hand, plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, back to chaturanga, plank, shift it up and back, downward facing dog, inhale forward to plank, pick up the left toes, exhale, draw the knee to the left tricep, inhale, leg shoots up. Bend the knee, flip the dog. Arm reaches. Bring the hand back down, one-legged plank. Exhale, take it to your right tricep. Kick it under. Inhale, open up. Exhale, hand goes back down, three-legged dog on the inhale. Exhale, step the whole way through. Inhale, we rise, lunge, interlace fingers. Twist, rep to the left, reach your right arm forward. Right hand goes down, inhale, left arm up. Exhale, step it back, Vashistasana. Inhale, back to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, back to Chaturanga. Press to plank, downward facing dog. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Go ahead and lower your knees to the earth. Sit back into a child's pose. Let your forehead rest on the mat. And then walk your hands over to the right. Bring your left hand on top of your right hand and then draw back through your left hip. Start to find the breath slowing down, getting a little more refined as the heart is racing, right? Walk the hands back through center. Take the hands over to the left, right hand on top. Drawing the hips to the right. And bring your hands back through center. Coming up to all fours, just sliding that right leg forward for pigeon pose, getting nice and long through the crown of the head. And then exhale, just coming down onto your forearms. Maybe you come and stay here with the palms touching, or maybe it feels better to go the whole way down if you have that mobility to bring the forehead down to the mat. Alternatively, if you're looking for a little quad opening, press into the right hand, left hand comes back to find the left foot, and just take a moment to stretch open through there. You can get a little bit higher by bringing your right hand to your right thigh. Totally up to you. So one more breath wherever you are. Go ahead, release that back foot if you have it. And then we're just gonna shift back onto the left knee, extend the right leg back behind you. Maybe give it a shake or circle around through the right hip. 
doing like a circle with your kneecap. And then slide your left knee forward for pigeon. So getting nice and long through the right leg. The left shin does not need to be parallel with the top of your mat unless that's something in your body that's very difficult. So just want to make sure that you feel comfortable in your left knee. Come down onto your forearms. And if you ever have any questions about poses that we do in class, just drop me a comment. I'll get back to you. So either stay here on your forearms, go the whole way down, whatever you did on the first side, if it's possible to do it on the second side. So if you took that quad opener, right, we're kind of more upright, left hand onto the ground, reaching the right hand back, finding the foot, maybe even left hand to thigh. And you always want to make sure you're not on your kneecap. You're kind of on that meaty bit above the kneecap. Just take three deep, deep breaths here. And just let everything start to kind of calm down. Right, we just dove into the fire for a little bit, release the back foot, play up the hands, shift onto the right knee, take the left leg back, and then do a few circles around through the hip. And then you're just gonna slowly come, sit back onto your heels, bring your legs forward, reach your arms forward, and just take a nice, slow, slow trip down to the mat. As much as you can, find that little place where you shake and quiver and hold it just a little bit longer. And then release. Stretch your arms overhead. Display your rib cage open. Take a deep breath in here. And as you exhale, hug your knees into your nose as you lift your head. So you kind of squeeze yourself into this little tiny ball. And then go ahead, let the legs stretch out, let the arms relax. So if you have options for Shavasana to lay here flat. Maybe you like to take the feet as wide as the mat, let the knees drift in. Or perhaps you take legs at the wall or seated meditation. So take three cleansing breaths here on your own. In through the nose, really sigh it out, maybe even stick out your tongue or flutter your lips. With each breath, imagine your body getting heavier into the earth. Take a little scan of your body and notice any effort that you're holding on to. Is it in your jaw, your hands, or any of your muscles? In a clenched position and let them soften. And then just imagine your breath as if they were soft waves on the ocean. Just slowly rising, slowly falling, moving gently through your body. Allow a sensation of calm to wash over you. Not only into your body, but into your mind, your thoughts about yourself, your thoughts about the world. Just give yourself a moment of peace. Welcome that peace into the space around your heart. And if you have the time and you'd like to stay here longer, please do. If you need to get on with your day, we slowly start to bring some awareness into the body, moving fingers, toes, maybe windshield wipering legs. And then you can shift over onto your side and just pause for a moment. Gratitude, you made it to the end of your practice for the day. Give yourself a little bit of grace. And then press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Bring your hands to your heart center. Bow your chin to your chest. Thank you so much for showing up for yourself today. Namaste. Don't forget to subscribe so I can keep sending you new content. And please drop me a comment and let me know what you thought of today's class.
Have a great day.